Hey guys, this is Zor of Water. Welcome back to some more Final Fantasy X. In the last episode, we fought off the Spectral Keeper and came down here to get the final Aeon, only to know that there is no final Aeon. This is just an empty statue of Lord Zeon. However, Unaleska decided to show her pretty little self and said that we can get, we can get a final Aeon, but we have to pick one of our guardians to sacrifice. And I have no idea what Yuna's gonna do, but um... Yeah, best be prepared. So, I don't think there's much else to do in Xanderkind. I'm really hoping there's not much to do in Xanderkind. Because what's, um, after we deal with what's coming up, um, there's essentially like a deadline for a lot of the other stuff. Uh, I think we already passed by a lot of deadlines, actually. I thought it was all gonna be at this point, but I was wrong. So with that said, make sure you save, make sure you heal up, do anything you need to do, and let's be on our way. Have you chosen the one to become your faith? Who will it be? Might I ask something first? Will Sin come back even should I use the final summoning to defeat it? Sin is eternal. Every Aeon that defeats it becomes Sin in its place. And thus is Sin reborn. So that's why Jack became Sin. Sin is an inevitable part of Spira's destiny. It is never-ending. Never-ending? But... but... if we atone for our crimes, sin will stop coming back, yeah? Someday it'll be gone, yeah? Will humanity ever attain such purity? Ugh. This... this cannot be! The teachings state that we can exercise sin with complete atonement! It's been our only hope all these years. Hope is comforting. It allows us to accept fate, however tragic it might be. No! no! Where is the sense in all this? Braska believed in Yevon's teachings and died for them. Jack believed in Braska and gave his life for him. They chose to die. Because they had hope. Yevon's teachings and the final summoning give the people of Spira hope. Without hope, they would drown in their sorrow. Now choose. Who will be your faith? Who will be the one to renew Spira's hope? No one. I would have gladly died. I live for the people of Spira, and would have gladly died for them, but no more. The final summoning is a false tradition that should be thrown away. No. It is our only hope. Your father sacrificed himself to give that hope to the people, so they would forget sorrow. Wrong. My father... My father wanted to make Spiro's sorrow go away, not just cover it up with lies. Sorrow cannot be abolished. It is meaningless to try. My father, I loved him. So I, I will live with my sorrow. I will live my own life. I will defeat sorrow in his place. I will stand my ground and be strong. I don't know when it will be, but someday, I will conquer it. And 
I will do it without. False hope. Poor creature. You would throw away hope. Well, I will free you before you can drown in your sorrow. It is better for you to die in hope than to live in despair. Let me be your liberator. Now! This is it! Now is the time to choose. Die and be free of pain, or live and fight your sorrow. Now is the time to shape your stories. Your fate is in your hands! Yuna needs Kimari. Kimari protect Yuna. Well, I'm fighting! I can't believe we're gonna fight Lady Yuna Leska. Give me a break. You can always run. Ha! Ah. I'd never forgive myself. No way. Not if I ran away now. Even in death, yeah? My thoughts exactly. Yuna! This is our story. Now let's see this thing through together. I just realized I did not set up my party correctly and the wrong characters are up in front. Whoops! So yeah, we are fighting Lady Unaleska in the flesh, or not really. Uh, first thing I want to do is actually haste up as much people as I can, which is not going to matter because her physical attacks will actually dispel any buffs on you. So uh, yeah, that's kind of concerning, but that's fine. I... shoot, shoot, shoot. It's actually been a long time since I fought Unaleska herself, so this is gonna be real awkward. Um, so if you thought Seymour Flux was bad, Unaleska's worse in a sense. Um, she's not tough, or she's not as hard-hitting, I think, but she has a lot of things to counteract us. In, in this case, like, I just used Steel, and she automatically put me to sleep, but that wasn't even her turn. Yeah, um, whatever attack you throw at her, she will automatically um, counteract it with something opposite. So I just used black magic there and she tried to silence me. Fortunately, Lulu has a silence proof, so I don't even have to worry about that. Now, um, this is where things get a little bit awkward, mostly because of that drain. Uh, we, need to, we need to be able to dish out as much damage as we can. However, her counters will be Sh will prove to show that it's gonna be all easier said than done. Um, let me get Yuna out here. I'm gonna try to use everyone to the best of my ability, which is asking for a lot, really. Aside from her normal attacks, um, she just used Drain right there. She will actually drain the person with the highest amount of HP uh, currently on the field. I don't know if that means like their current HP or their maximum HP. Probably both? Something like that. I'm not too sure if she is actually... Can we... can we poison you? Nope, it was a good um, it was a good try and now I'm gonna be silenced. The walk is effectively useless. Wonderful. So, we're just gonna have to dwindle down her HP as much as we can. If you happen to have any armor that can uh, counteract her counters, basically, like Silence Proof, Silence War, Dark Ward, etc., make sure you equip on your characters now. Um, her attacks are very weak, but I would say just go ahead and try to pummel her as much as you can. Uh, heal up the stats fix as best as you can. And don't even bother about doing buffs, because that might just be a wasted turn if she eventually dispels them off of you. Or, like, it, it seems like it's taken her a long time to do that. So either or is actually fine. With that case, I'm actually gonna... Her turn is actually coming up. So I'm gonna throw up haste on everyone here. It's gonna dispel on one person, but that's fine. And she's gonna absorb from who to thunk? It's Orin. Now, issue is, I don't have anyone who has sensor, and I really don't want to move around their equipment because I think they have the really nice equipment on them. 
I actually took a look at customization to see if I could do anything to benefit me. I technically do, but I don't want to really use it on those items quite yet. So until then, we'll just kind of pummel her down. She's just really annoying. It's, she doesn't even hit that hard right now. Okay. I'm just hoping to god that I can get their overdrives up and about. That would be real swell. Oh, she doesn't do it all the time. Or maybe it's because she can do it like two times in a row, kind of? I don't know. She's absorbing from Kamari. Okay, so it is based on the current HP. That makes a lot of sense. With that said... Okay, I actually got seven. I still hate that overdrive. Oh, I can see- I can see inside of that circle. That's so creepy. Oh, I don't have sleep proof though. That's mighty awkward. And now uh, Orin's also dark. Crud! Okay, so I don't have- actually... Riku! Your Albed potions. What do they do again? Poison sun- oh yeah, that, that's, that's not gonna help me right here. Ah, <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, actually, no, wait, I can get Yuna out here because I also want to see if I can build up her overdrive. And see what we can get from that. Let's wake up Lulu first. Oh wait, Asuna doesn't even raise her overdrive, what am I doing? Well, a good chance. I think she has sensor, so I'll be able to check her HP in just a moment. Oh, she's actually almost gone. Ha. Huh. Oh, this is really awkward. Huh. Uh, Titus, hopefully you do enough. It. So, the tooltip up there. It says vulnerable to holy magic. That doesn't mean that you can use healing magic on her. Don't do that. She's She, she doesn't have a zombie effect. Healing magic will heal her. Uh, there is a skill on her on Yuna's spear grid called holy that will do holy damage it's not a healing magic and unfortunately i don't have it so if unless you have an item for rika to throw at her there's not much we can do about that vulnerability okay so after you deal with her first amount of hp she is going to start revealing her true form and this is starting to get a little bit more grotesque and terrifying by the second when she shifts into her second form, she will start off using Hellbiter. It doesn't do much damage, but it does it on all the players, and they all get hit with zombie. <laughs> so, yeah, I... shoot. So, there is actually a customizable ability called Auto Med. And I think you need, like, a crap ton of remedies or something of the like. If you happen to have that... and this, is, this goes for any sort of, uh, boss battle in general. But if you happen to have that on any of your characters, they can automatically just use uh, items, if you have them, to fix up all of these. Why did I use a remedy, actually? To fix up any status ailments that just get inflicted onto your party. Again, I don't have that, so I'm just gonna deal with using hol Holy Waters, Asuna, and Remedies. So, you actually want to make sure you get this off as soon as you can, because she will try to counteract you with, uh, with healing magic. And if not you, well, she's gonna do it to herself. So, actually... I don't... I don't remember if you actually do it to yourself, but I'd rather not find out. I... Demi is probably not going to work. I... Do need to get... I'm gonna get walk out here. Because I think at this point, she should have stopped her, uh... I'm really hoping she should have stopped her uh, counter-attacking, per se. Actually, what happens if he's drain on you? That is chump change. Okay, yeah, it doesn't look like she's doing her counteracting. I think her physical attack is still the spell, so rebuff on any buffs if needed. And let's just keep on trucking along. Yep, it looks like she has completely stopped using her counter-attacks. That's nice. Unfortunately, I think she can still drain. Only one way to find out. I forgot I was dark. So yeah, at this point, you want to make sure that you have zombie ward on your armors, if possible. 
and you should be good. You don't have to use up all of your turns just to uh, heal up everyone, but if they get to a certain amount of HP, you might want to start doing that. Uh, Lulu... Actually, Lulu, can you throw a high potion onto Orin? He is looking a little bit drained there. Actually, Orin's not haste, is he? Uh, oh, it's not gonna matter, because Titus just lost his haste. Oh, I hate these things. I hate them with a passion. Uh, I'm actually surprised she's not trying to put regen on the rest of us. Try to be a little sparing with your, um... ...items if you can. It's not like she's gonna instantly kill you. It's a gradual thing. So, don't worry too much about it. I think I could leave this on Lulu and see how it goes. Although she is losing a bit of HP. Oh my god, we haven't even put a dent in her. Well, now we have overdrive. This should be fine. Okay, um... Yeah, let me switch out Lulu. We're gonna get out... let's see... We're gonna get out Yuna for a little bit. And she is going to take her time. I could- I was gonna protect and it's not gonna really do much point. I- oh wait, hang on, Titus has a uh, zombie and regen. Ah, uh, crap. <laughs> Fortunately, it does not do a lot of damage. We stop everyone. And then, instead of that... Where is the holy water? I don't have a lot. This is actually really bad. Okay, we seem to be in a decent state. Um... I'm gonna use a holy- I'm gonna leave Titus alone and see if I can top off Orin before he gets zombied again. So, Kiraga, come here. That is a lot. And then for you, I'll- I'll worry about the zombie later. Can- can I have Orin, please? Orin? Orin? Can I- can I- I- I can't use your overdrive? I- okay, sure, I'll take that. There we go. So since we're doing a single target, I don't know if Tornado would just do more damage overall and it's better to use that. But I'm just basing it off of um, if there's multiple enemies or not. The problem is I don't remember Banishing Blade. Oh, okay. I did a lot better than I expected. Unfortunately, there's actually not a lot of weapon abilities that are useful against her, or at least I don't think. So I just have everyone kind of busted out to the best of my ability. Well, now here's my problem. Titus is gonna die soon. Assuming she doesn't do... Okay, no, no, no. Yuna, Yuna is still... Yuna is still a zombie, so I can't use a Mega Potion here. And I'm actually gonna swap her out for Kamari, who fortunately does not have zombie. We're gonna use a Mega Potion. Get all my heavy hitters out here. And at this point, I'm just gonna start pummeling her because we have not made a dent. I'm too focused on the fact that everyone's zombied. This, well, at the very least. Okay, maybe not Lulu. Let me get that... Yeah, let me get that, uh, region off of Orin for a second. Where is the spell? And then swap her back out. And onward we go! I probably should have hasted people. What was I doing? In fact, I can do that with Kamari! And at this point, I'm pretty sure all three of them are going to be zombied. Yep, that's fine. Um, Titus can hold on for a little bit. I don't think the brakes work against her. I can give it a shot in just a moment. Okay. Slice and dice. 
Oh, Tidus, we need to do something about your strength. You are a little bit more small than I expected. Oh, crud. Oh, she's starting to pull up the big guns now. Uh-huh. That's most concerning. Yeah, I kind of figured she's immune to breaks. And now she's just countering us with her normal attack, so there's not even much point in doing haste. Okay. So, actually, no. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna attack her once. She's gonna do another Hell's Bite. Come on. Are you gonna do another Hell's Bite? Nope, you're gonna use a Cura. Uh. Oh, yep. Yeah, that's what I figured. Raise him back up. Don't accidentally raise your zombie people, or they're going to die. Region's fine. Region is bearable. Holy water. I'm I'm playing around way too much. I'm sorry. Uh let me use a high potion on Orin. Cause I think she's about to use Hell's Bite or just another healing magic. Nope, oh, another healing magic. That actually works out perfectly. Yeah, that's right. Keep on doing your things. Uh, she's almost down. Just keep on pummeling her. Everything will be fine. I'm actually almost to Kamari's overdrive. Which is most fortunate. Unless you kill Kamari. You jerk. Okay, Yuna, I need you out here. Front and center. Let's see. Life, life, life. And I can't cure everyone, so... I am going to cure, uh, Kimari. So he's more or less topped off. You're gonna kill Yuna, that is fine. Orin is going to attack. I'm actually surprised he stopped using Hell's Bite, and that's really concerning, actually. Ah, there we go! How much HP do you have? I can't tell because I don't have sensor. So two more hits and we'll be in a bad position. So let me let me see if I can get Yuna up. I'm gonna see if she can do one more Hell's Bite. Uh, not on Lulu. So before you actually down her HP again, make sure make sure everyone has zombie. Trust me on this. Make make sure everyone has zombie. And stop killing my party. Uh, oh, that's Orin. Oh, that's Orin. Um. Hmm. Alright. The last bit of holy war I'm probably gonna use. Yuna, I need you to life. Please just use a regen or something on someone. That'd be great. Nope, we're gonna Hell's Bite. That actually works. That works wonderfully. Uh, What in the world just happened there? Did my screen just flicker white for a second? I don't know. Okay. Wait, I thought Titus had zombie. Okay. Alright. If that's the case, I... don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna defend with Yuna. Orin's just gonna take a hit, and we are going on! To our third phase. This is the problematic one of the bunch. Granted that she's absolutely gorgeous and terrifying at the same time, even in this form. Look at the Medusa head! Hi! So when you actually hit her into her third form, she is instantly gonna cast Megadeth. Megadeth will, will instantly kill any character that is not a zombie. And by that, I mean they will rip out a soul and crush it in his hand. She will periodically do this throughout the battle, so it's gonna be a weird mixture of getting out a zombie, healing up, and then just staying on zombie for the rest of the turn. Okay, so that is actually my plan. Get Orin out of zombie ASAP. Get Yuna out of zombie ASAP. And probably just kill off Lulu. <laughs> 
Because at the very least, you want to make sure at least one of your characters is still in zombie so that you're not completely caught unaware. She is also going to do Hell's Fighter while this is happening. And she just basically reverted my freaking holy waters. Thank you very much. I do say you really want to be careful going forward because she starts getting real nasty. And I mean real nasty. If this doesn't work, I'm just going to give up. I'm just going to let Yuna die. And then we'll go from there. Okay, can, can you stop? Can, can, can you please stop? I just... Okay, there's there's Yuna dead. Orin is... Crud. No, okay, so Lulu is basically... Gonna have an issue. But fortunately, Waka is still haste. So that's good. Okay, Waka. Heal up Yuna. Lulu swap out with Orin. And at this point, it's all hands on deck. And every time you attack her, she's just gonna counteract with her dispelling tiny attack. Which is fine. Here's the bigger problem, is Mind Blast. It does a decent amount of damage, but the most important thing is it also confuses players. And if Orin's confused, that's that's the big problem here. Uh, where is the remedy? Remedy, remedy. This is why, at the very least, you want your heavy hitters to have um, confused ward if possible. So fortunately, I got all of that off of him. Let me use a Kiraga. And then we're back in business. Oh no. Oh. That works too. So, I think a tactic that I tend to use, which is kind of counterproductive in a sense, is putting Reflect on all my characters and just healing them with items so that when she tries to heal while they're in Zombie, it theoretically heals her instead. And I think combining that with a shell will mitigate the heal so that it's not as much. The downside is that you're healing the enemy, so take that as you will. Okay, so with that said, I just realized no one has zombie. No one here has zombie. Uh, Lulu, are you the only person with zombie? That's kind of bad. I really hope Lulu's not gonna die. Yeah, that's why I figured. This is why you want to have make sure at least one character has zombie. I don't think a death ward or a death priest is gonna save you here either. Do I have- I have a Mega Phoenix. Okay. So I'm gonna Mega Phoenix, Lulu's gonna die, but the other two are gonna come up. There we go. She should fall up with the Hell's Biter. And since they're fully healed, I actually don't have to worry about them. So... Yuna, keep on boosting up your overdrive. Just a little bit more. Ah, perfect. Just as Lulu comes up, comes back up too. All right. So with that said, I'm actually gonna swap Lulu out, bring up Kamari, and just start pummeling her again. That's Yuna, but um, actually, no, we don't really need Yuna here either. All right, Kamari, put haste on everyone, and let's get down to business. Or not. Oh no, this is bad. I think Goyorn has to confuse Ward. Oh. <laughs> I was wondering what that sound was. Okay, fortunately the Hell Spider will actually knock him out of confusion. I- oh, Lulu's about to die. I'm gonna swap her out with Titus. And pray to god that he uh, he gets hit with a uh, Hell Spider before they do Mega Death. Because I do want to have a backup character with um that ability uh with the uh, zombie effect on the standby in case i need to swap out or you know you could just kill off titus that works too i really don't like you well the thing that actually starts sucking out your soul is really creepy man okay i'm not gonna use my overdrive yet let me get titus back up he can go heal himself or actually you know hang on um she is probably gonna go into a hell's biter again there we go. Get zombied, my friend. Or you can just Kiraga. Yeah, that's kind of why I figured crap. I completely forgot you can heal. 
I'm trying to use Yuna as much as I can just so I can boost up her overdrive to the best of my ability. Haste up everyone. And our Hell Spider. So hopefully Kamari and Titus will get the uh, Hell Spider. Uh, no, and that's probably because I have wards on. That's kind of concerning. I mean, I could use self-destruct, but I think that also... Does that also hit the, uh... The party? Only one way to find out! Oh, that does max damage. Wait. Oh! I didn't think it actually kicked him out of the- Oh, shoot, that was actually a really bad move on my part. <laughs> I didn't think he was actually gone gone. I thought he was just gonna go down to zero HP. Oh, shoot. Um, that was a bad way to test that move. That was a really bad way to test this move. Uh huh. I am now- I have a big handicap and I don't like it. Oh no. Oh dear. Oh my. This is most unfortunate. This is most unfortunate indeed! Okay, fortunately, he didn't take any heavy hits. And that's what I'd like to- What? Oh, you have dark! I didn't realize it also- I don't know. Okay, 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 okay. Yuna, 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 Yuna. Please get out of here. Because I guarantee you, if I revive, she's going to use Meg Death. On the bright side, more overdrive. There we go. That's it. Keep on playing into my hand. Disregard the fact that I screwed myself by removing one of my characters from battle. I hope he still gets AP from this. I, I really hope he still gets AP, because otherwise that would be most unfortunate. Okay, one last bit. And hopefully Yuna's gonna survive. There we go. Alright, and we're gonna go ahead with a grand summon to Bahamut. As much I don't want to use the same Aeon over and over, but currently Bahamut is our uh, our strong heavy hitter. Both in all of its stats and the fact that it can break the 9999 barrier. Alright, here we go. Um, so fortunately she's not Seymour. He's not she's not gonna immediately banish your Aeon. However, Megadeth will affect the Aeon. Megadeth will kill the Aeon. So let's not have that. So question is, will this kill her? It will not kill her. Question is, will she kill me? Because that would be most unfortunate. Fortunately for me, my blast is just going to be a heavy hitter and nothing more. Although you put curse on me, that's not fun. And you're using absorb. Oh crap. And you're using osmosis? Oh, that's just rude. Oh my god, you hit like a truck though. That absorbs gonna do 700. It'll be fu No, wait, it does max health. It does it based on max health. Ow. Okay, fortunately, she's pretty much downed. So I think I might be able to get Orange Overdrive in a nutshell. I almost thought I was attacking Orange for a second. <laughs> Alright, that's it. Give give Titus the Hell Spider. Nope, you're not gonna give Tita Zombie, that's fine too. Oh, you're gonna give us a mind blast? That's not great. Please don't confuse either of them. Sweet. This is actually going in our favor. Just with the two of them, I think we should be able to do it. Come on, just a few more hits, and we got her.
Regent's fine, Kuraga's not. This is this is bearable. Oh, that was a crit. And that was like if well he was gonna die anyways. Okay, so first first order of business, get Titus up as fast as we can. So I was gonna switch over to Yuna, but she has like a very small amount of HP. Unless she decides to cure Aga. Nope, you're just gonna Hell Spider. Alright, we got this in the bag now. Yeah, Yuna Leska is not heavy hitting, but she's annoying as all heck with all her status effects. Oh boy, so hopefully you're prepared. If not, you're gonna be stuck here for a while. Um, and even then, it's actually a really long fight that's 35 minutes into recording right now. But it doesn't matter, because she is going to die! die, so does the final Aeon. And with it, Spira's only hope. Then we'll find Spira a new hope! Fool. There is no other way. Even if there was, even if you did destroy Sin, you, Yevon, the Immortal, would only create Sin anew. You, Yevon? Ah. Oh. Zeon, forgive me. Spira has been robbed of the light of hope. All that remains is sorrow. No, Kamar didn't get any of the AP. God, that's what I get for testing out Shiranui. I cannot believe what we just did. Let's do something more unbelievable. What? Destroy Sin, so it won't come back. And without the final Aeon. I don't know how just yet, but I'll find out. All right, so this this is a really long episode. That was a really long boss fight. Um, that didn't go the way I thought things were gonna go, but that's fine. And I oh shoot, I I didn't mean to use Karaka. I actually meant to use Kira, but whatever. We're at a point where it doesn't matter if we use a bar MP and such. So that'll be it for this episode. Um, do not leave this area quite yet. Uh, we still need to get something, and we'll do that in the next episode. Zora Water signing out. I will see you guys in the next one.